Hey guys, it's Jade. Those of you that don't know what individual lashes are, they look like this. So the perks of having individual lashes is basically, it's going to be more of a natural finish. You, you can add as little or as many as you like for a fuller or more natural result. So I normally recommend applying false lashes once you've done your eyeshadow and your eyeliner. Not your mascara, I tend to do mascara after I've put my false lashes on, just because it makes it easier and it stops your lashes from getting in the way when they've got mascara on them. Um, but for the purpose of today, I've got no eye makeup on, just so you guys can kind of see a bit clearer what I'm doing and hopefully it will make it a bit easier for you guys. Also, just letting you know, I've done a tutorial on how to apply full sets of false lashes. Whew, that is a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, um, just click on this video up in here, or it will also be in the down bar below if you guys want to check out how I've done that as well. Alright, so what you will need, obviously, is some false lashes. You can get different sets of false lashes, some that have kind of shorter, shorter lashes and longer lashes, but these ones are just all the same length. Um, I do probably recommend the, the shorter ones and the longer ones because that way you can make it even more natural like by applying the shorter ones near tear duct and outer and longer ones towards the outer corners of your eyes but I couldn't find any so I've just got just the standard all the same length ones. Also you will need some tweezers and some eyelash glue. Now as you can see by these lashes it is basically one little ball at the top which is what you put the glue on and then there's lots of little kind of spurks of the lashes coming off so that is what gives you the beautiful full effect with your with your eyes it just looks gorgeous so with the tweezers you want to grab the lash now I don't recommend pulling them out this way because as you can see it frays the eyelash so what I like to do is grab it from side on and then pull out the lash what you want to do now is just apply a small amount of glue to the tip of the lash and then wait a few seconds for it to become tacky so I prefer to start in the outer corner apply it to your outer corner as close as you can to your natural lash line Continue to add the lashes. You can use as little or as many as you like. Remember the more that you use, the more fuller the results will be. Now if you've missed a spot like I have done here, don't worry, just grab some more lashes and you can go back in and reapply. That's the beauty of using individual lashes. So I'm just basically repeating the same on the other eye and continuing it all the way throughout the inner corners. You can add more on the outer corners like I'm doing here if you want more of a fuller effect. So roughly for one eye I've used probably about 15 lashes. So once you've applied your individual false lashes, even if you already have your makeup and your eyeliner on, I do always recommend to go through just with a little bit of liquid liner just to hide any bands or any um, kind of glue texture or anything like that just to make them kind of set in and look a lot more natural. I do this with my full sets of false lashes as well. I just find it just gives a beautiful more natural finish to your eyelashes. Okay so just by adding that tiny small band it basically stops any glue or any texture coming through and just makes your eyes look a lot more natural and it will make your lashes appear a lot thicker and a lot fuller as well. So now I'm just going to go in with mascara. You can use whatever mascara you like. I personally prefer to do mascara after the lashes have been applied because it just makes it so much more easier. You don't have, you know, thick mascara coated lashes in your way when you're trying to apply the um, the individual lashes because it can be quite fiddly I just find this a lot easier now because the individual lashes are a lot more delicate compared to a full set of lashes you need to be very careful when you apply your mascara so I'd like to just gently kind of almost pat the mascara on focus towards the ends so it just helps to bond it together and make it look more natural so you can curl your lashes if you like I don't recommend doing it with the individual lashes just because as I said they are quite delicate and you don't want to disturb them especially because they are fiddly to put on so if you do want to curl your lashes I recommend just curling your natural lashes before you apply them um, and then go in with the false lashes because they are quite curly on their own you probably won't even need to curl them I haven't curled these and I really am happy with the result so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to have a look and 
Also, if you guys aren't aware, if you have any requests or questions or anything like that, feel free to ask me on either my Facebook or my Twitter page. The links will be in the down bar below. So do lots of just daily updates and upload photos and even sneak peeks of next tutorials to come. So make sure you check that out. I love you all and have a lovely day. I hope you enjoy the weather and smile a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.